Burrow. That would be pretty bad use of his time, but yeah, he decides to just run away. And uh, meanwhile, I'm happy as I'm creeping, or no, just shopping, sorry. And I'm um, buying a dust, and uh, he does have a TP and an invuln pot on his lich as well. Uh, maybe he's not going to go for a third hero, because he doesn't have that many units at this point. His money is probably spent just buying a couple more units. And um, actually, he's not even buying units. He doesn't really have much gold. I guess he spent it all on items. But, um,. I guess that's not the end of the world because it's um, undead and undead if you can pimp out your heroes enough uh, you can win just based on that basically and um, the uh, one renegade wizard getting caught out here and it looks like um, Happy might manage to steal this kill and um, no he doesn't actually Grubby manages to get the kill in the end that's um, pretty unfortunate but um, Happy does get the um, parry to vitality obviously pretty nice item against the blade master just because it gives you all that extra hit points and uh, you do have the ability to heal um, that extra ability that extra um, much just because you have sort of aura and uh, statues and stuff, whereas lots of um, you know, it's actually grubby stealing a creep there and um, getting dusted there, so you have to run away. But um, lots of uh, uh, races they get sort of they parry up for vitality and they never actually manage to get to sort of full hit points for the rest of the game, and so it isn't actually that useful an item because it never really is being used to its full capacity. Uh, obviously, when you pick it up, it increases your current hit points by a bit, so that's pretty nice, but um, it's just not that Im uh, it's not it's not always made put to full use, whereas with an undead you really can put it to full use. And Grubby looks like he might, might might try and use his orb to pick off one of these destroyers or at least do a bit of damage while creeping. Or he might go in for the creep jack, I'm not sure how much mana he has. No, he doesn't have enough mana to um, break Windwalk, so we will just have to run in, steal the item and then run out. And um, he does manage to run in, doesn't steal the item though. And um, Ring of Regeneration, that's not a, that's um, not a brilliant item because uh, obviously Happy already has a fair bit of uh, localized um, regeneration on his Death Knight, but um, Grubby is now running in and um, Happy is forced to TP out after losing a couple statues, and um, these are uh, lots of really low creeps here that um, Happy didn't manage to kill. Uh, he did obviously get the important one, but the other ones are still pretty important as well, just in terms of um, getting all that experience and denying it from Grubby as well. And Happy now um, coming down with. Uh, I guess he's going to try and creep, creep out the equivalent camp on his side and um, producing a shade as well so he, uh, he, he's he been going for really similar builds all three games where he's going for fiends, destros and shades and um, not frost rooms which I sort of agree with I think frost rooms are amazing but they're just so expensive and um, you have to have a dedicated building for them and you know, and um, just in terms of food as well they can be quite quite hefty in terms of price maybe if it goes to um, late game and you um, manage to set up uh, an expansion after your main runs out or something, that's okay. And I'm going to be getting dusted here a bit and will be forced to run his Blade Master out and um, tries to run it back in I think, but um, I think he should accept that he's probably not going to get anything from this because Happy should just come in and try and keep it, creep it as quick, quick as possible now. And I'm um, happy keeping his Lich out here just to scout to see if the Blade Master comes back because obviously it is dusted. And um, I wonder what I was it a Boots of Speed? I think it must have been a Boots of Speed for um, for uh, happy there. I don't see what else it could have been. Um, yeah, it must have been. And um, yeah, meanwhile, Grubby, I'm now coming in and using his invuln pot to try and focus down this on one destroyer and then, or sorry, I have statue and then moving out again. And uh, only three fiends for um, happy at this point. And meanwhile, Grubby is now um, long distance mining, uh, something he's been doing a fair bit just because um, once you have enough lumber, you don't really need. Um, not much more and you can see he has 900 lumber now and he doesn't have any need for any more so he may as well use his lumber peons for that until um, he has the point where he can use, his, um, use them for spirit link although actually oh yeah he only has one um, spirit walker though but as you can see it does master train so it does have 620 hit points and 600 mana and um, all kinds of spells so a lot of fun there and um, first bat rider out for grubby now as well and I'm not sure if he's going to continue to build units. He's, no, he is at 50 food now, so he's going to stick there for a while, I imagine, and then um, maybe wait it out a bit. Meanwhile, um, Happy continuing to build um, cigarettes and uh, has pushed into upkeep now. He is at 56 food, and um, this might work out quite well for him, actually, if he can push up quickly, because he has built um, two slaughterhouses, and so that's going to mean that he's going to get a lot of destros up pretty quick. And um, Grubby or Happy doing a dust there, but just not in time, and um, both of them coming in now. It looks like the, um, um, Grubby does... Um, Happy does actually get another dust off. Clearly, he has some sort of intuition as to this, or maybe um, he knows that this is when Grubby wants to come in to buy an item, and so um, he's just making sure that um, Happy isn't there, or that Grubby isn't there to pick off the item. And um, meanwhile, um, I'm not, we'll have to see what um, item it is, but it looks like actually, oh, he, doesn't, oh, he buys another dust, but 
that doesn't seem like too worth it, consider all things considered, considering he spent so long there. Or maybe he just bought that in one pot. I wasn't quite paying attention to um, the items he started out with. But as you can see, I'm um, happy with a lot of um, destros now, and or sorry, um, statues now, and he will convert them to destros soon because he does have 11 spare food still. And um, he might even bring in the schools at this point because uh, he d actually, no, he doesn't have that much lumber. He'll have to leave his schools there, which is a bit of a shame. So um, it is nice to have all those schools in there just to take out the um, berserkers and the uh, raiders as well. And uh, meanwhile, I'm um, continuing to long distance mine, so I'm actually pretty significantly out mining. I'm happy and putting up a tiny great hall as well and this hasn't yet been scouted because um, the shade seems to be with the uh, units rather than with the heroes so Grubby actually getting a bit lucky there and um, he will now um, be able to um, massively outmine Happy and so Happy's really going to need to um, attack. This is a bit like game 2 really in that um, Happy's going to need to um, really press the attack as soon as possible and he, you can see he has converted a lot of um, his units to, of his um, Sessions to Destros and he has mana on a lot of them as well and so this is going to be um, very nice for him if he can just move in a meet right now and then get, go for the attack and that is what he's going to do. Ha Grubby with only one bat rider. I wonder if he was using it for scouting as much as for anything else because uh, you really don't want just one because um, there's not really much point to that. Uh, and um, uh, he does now have two so maybe um, he should try and use them. But as you can see they really don't, um, they're, they're mildly effective but um, a, a couple of berserkers would be quite nice as well. And um, or a couple more, uh, either a couple more bats or a couple more um, Destros, but not just a mixture of the two, really. And um, that one, um, Kodo getting focused down really quickly because it had eaten a crypt fiend. And the, uh, as I said, Happy is now 1 0 upgraded, um, as I think he was in the first game as well. And um, uh, Grubby now coming in and going for a um, Lich kill, but obviously with the Frost armor, it's really not that easy to get um, to do. And so I think he should probably just switch target. And Grubby being forced to run some of his units away now. And um, uh, Blade Master taking a lot of focus now, will need to run away, doesn't have enough mana for wind walking, does get caught and killed. So um, Grubby's going to need to um, move out and happy to move in and try and kill this as soon as possible. But Grubby does have the money to buy it back from the tavern if he wants, and I think he will have to, because he just can't waste the time. And uh, Grubby bringing another bat rider here, but does get webbed. Um, ha clearly Happy's just reserved web, and then that's really something that's quite important to do, and I'm surprised Happy hadn't done it earlier, considering that I think those bat riders have been around for a fair while. And um, looks like Grubby is going to now move into the tavern, although actually now I'm just moving out again. Um, I'm, I guess he must be buying it back at his altar, but that's going to take a while. Yeah, he is, but you can see it's barely even started. And um, Happy just needs to now sort of try and f force them to a fight. And um, Happy just found um, killing all the peons. And then Grubby, Grubby builds some more and then coming back. Um, a bit trick of tricky play there by him. I guess he wanted Happy to, um, or I guess he wanted Grubby to think that uh, he was going to go to the um, altar and try and kill off the Blade Master when he was bought back. And so um, that's why Grubby turned around, but then. He just came back here, so he sort of actually got two advantages from that, and that um, Happy turned around from the altar, and then uh, he managed to get a couple extra uh, peons as well. And uh, this um, great hall will now go down. And um, let's take a look, quick look at Happy's base. He does now have um, 61 food, and it looks like uh, he's almost out of gold. And looks like he's sending this one um, acolyte maybe to um, actually build an expansion. That'd be quite nice for Happy because he does have the advantage at this point. In it. But in um, a little while's time, he's going to run out of gold, and um, as will Grubby, to be fair. But uh, Often it comes down to just sort of heroes, and often the blade master is just so effective if you can use it well at just picking off individual units and then um, uh, playing just stealthily. And um, Grubby should really be using his bros a lot better here. Um, Call Nova going off on the uh, Shadow Hunter, but um, Gr Grubby just healing back up again. And um, Lich is level four, and uh, De Death Knight level five. And it looks like um, Happy is going to try and kill off the Altar of Storms. So this is very nice timing by him because it's going to be the very last second. It's going to mean that it's probably not going to come out. And um, Grubby not being able to repair it or bringing in a couple of peons to it, but it's too late now. And um, it looks like the, uh, it's going to be very close. And actually, uh, Happy being forced to run away a bit because Grubby bringing in his army. But um, this uh, these uh, one troll bat rider has been um, webbed, and so it can't come out and use um, you detonate on it. And the Blade Master will actually come out. That's a pretty nice play by Grubby. He did have to lose a couple units just. Um, um, but uh, it looks like he will manage to get his, uh, uh, he will manage to have his Blade Master out and he probably should run it back to the back of his base and now use his ranged attack on um, air units or something. And um, it's still not going very well for Grubby though because he does have to, he is just losing these bat riders as soon as they come out. And um, Blade Master getting forced, um, being killed again and GG from Grubby. So Happy beats Grubby 2-1 in the um, IEST 2009, I think, um, round of 8. So um, very nice play there by Grubby and um, Happy as well, but I think especially Happy at this point because um, obviously they, they know each other's play so well that they can probably 
guess what's going to happen most of the time, but I think Happy really just um, sort of played very solidly there. He didn't take many risks at all, and um, some really nice play there overall by him. And so um, I hope you enjoyed those games. Um, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and even suggest any games that you'd like me to cover. Um, I have one more plan for the near future, and that's going to be um, a... Uh, Grubby vs. Lynn game, which I saw. Um, I haven't actually watched it, but I've seen that one of them goes tier 3, and I'm pretty psyched about that, because it's so rare that you see um, innovation, really, in Orc Mirror, and high-level Orc Mirror, at least. So, um, yeah, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and um, just tell me what you'd like to see. Thanks.